Hello, lovely friends! Welcome to a new episode of Living Give with Fobert 4. And where are we? Mm. Oh, Mateo? Mm. In a place full of mm. brum brum. Mm. Brum brum. Mm. Huh? Yeah, we are in Mercedes Whitman. And they did some mm. service mm. for us mm. before we go on a big Papa. trip. Papa left us to do a test drive to see if it's everything going smooth and perfect. Fabian will then tell us what they changed, what we were doing here. What we recommend actually to have uh, on a world trip. Check it out. This is what you need on the road. If you don't two years, if you cannot do service, this is all you need. And then you're good to go with a Mercedes. Nice. I am Isabella and I am from Brazil. This is Fabian, and he is German. We've been overlanding the world with our home sweet home, Frank the Tank, for the past almost four years. And together with our son Mateo and our two lovely dogs, Uni from Spain and Basco from Germany, we are living even for before. Subscribe and welcome to the family. Hey guys, today we are back at Auto Aus Wiedmann and uh, yeah, thanks uh, to the whole team. They're gonna do a special service on our truck here. You see, still dirty. We went with Auto Aus Wiedmann and the team and the film team to do some nice uh, videos. Uh, that's why this truck is so dirty. And after that they said, okay, come by before you go to Argentina, we do the full service on you. And uh, that's really, really great. This little car here, I'm gonna get, and in three days, hopefully, I can pick up our little truck. So stay tuned. Thanks out to us, Wiedmann, to do that, Wiedmann Bewegt. And if you have any questions about truck, chassis or whatever, let me know or let us know and we hook you up with the right person for expedition vehicles at this station. See you when we see ya. There you go. You know Shotti from before. Look what he's doing. Fixing my truck up. Service. Everything here at Auto House Wiedmann. Perfect. Isabella is going to be happy. We're going to get a big horn. And who's responsible? Auto House Wiedmann and Schotti. Thanks for that. Finally, we can honk the horn a little louder. Stay tuned. Check it out. Service done. We are ready to go. Thank you so much, uh, Shotti, Josef, Ramona, the whole team, uh, Nico, Jürgen, you know, uh, you guys know it's uh, very helpful to have a nice team around that is experts, also for expedition vehicles. So yeah, whoever out there needs a Mercedes chassis for his own expedition vehicle, contact me, I will hook you, I can hook you guys up with the right people. So thanks again. You see, we have now all black rims, uh, we have a horn, we have an oil change uh, that we can go ship this beauty to another continent without worrying about service. They gave us uh, a lot of filters that you need, uh, what filters you need if you go on a world trip to have spare parts. But all in all, great stuff. See you when we see you. Enjoy this video. Like we said in this video, we're gonna show you what spare parts uh, Mercedes recommended us to have or what we recommend actually to have uh, on a world trip to keep the truck going. Um, we, th we decided not to go into details what the house needs because that's a total other game, what spare parts you need for the house. And we are not talking about tools in this video, how to fix it. This is also another uh, part that you need to get informed, but only uh, what gets the chassis going around the world. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're gonna talk about it right now. 
again, this is only about the chassis parts from Mercedes or Mercedes. So what do you need? I mean, obviously this huge thing, uh, it came in a big box. Uh, we took the box away for storing reasons. And uh, yeah, this is the air filter for the truck. So you can see, maybe the Bella can film it too. Up there is the, uh, the inlet for the air for the truck. And the filter must be there. I think there's another space for this truck underneath. So this sucks the air and then underneath I can change the filter. So this is recommended if you have like a, a big desert drive, like in California, Nevada, in Death Valley we were, uh, it was really dusty, like the testing of this vehicle now, it was really dusty. So every once in a while we take this thing out and we blow it out that uh, we can reuse it. So you don't have to have the one desert drive to exchange. But uh, recommended is every one or two years. I mean, honestly, in five years with the old truck, we had one new one. And we even got that in Baja California, we ordered that filter. But this time we said, okay, since we have space, we can bring it along. So this is the air filter. So the next thing on the list is a small piece. It says only air filter, but Isabella can maybe say that, show what it is. And this is uh, on the diesel tank, uh, there's like an air outlet when you fill it up that the air goes out and this filters that. Mercedes explained it to me, they put that thing there if you are in salty regions or in winter conditions that there's salt, that, that no salt comes in from the air from outside into your diesel. So this is a small piece and uh, we just have it just in case if I see it really dirty in there on the tank, uh, I'm gonna exchange it. So this is the filter I was just talking about and it's right here. This is our tank and right here at the outlet of this thing is this filter. So I have a spare just in case we are in two salty regions. Like right now we are in the Mediterranean Sea. There is salt in the air, but at the Atlantic or Pacific, there's a lot more aggressive salt in the air, so that's a good thing to have. So something small, this is the battery latch. Um, this is not a spare part, this is actually, we exchanged it to one with a lock because we don't want to make it easy to somebody to steal our batteries. Uh, so this is the old version, it's just a spare part because I have the new version. But uh, this is just a tip aside, um, if you order your truck or whatever, maybe you make sure that uh, you have a lockable battery hatch. So since we talked about air filter before, this is uh, our truck, uh, the Mercedes Arox 4x4 2033 from 2021. Um, comes with an air condition. So there is a space in front. Uh, in another video, Mercedes, when we picked up the chassis, they showed us where to exchange, it's easy. Um, they said, well, every, every year, in order to uh, keep the bacteria out of your air condition, you should change this filter. And so this is the filter. It came in a big package, obviously, but we didn't want the package. So this is what we're going to exchange every year to have a nice air for Matteo, Isabella and me. Now I can also show you where the air filter for the air comb belongs and uh, stay tuned. So maybe we can fast forward that part. So now we have uh, opened uh, the front of our engine department and here is a sign that says unlock and lock. So I think we're gonna unlock this and then I have no idea. I think you take that away. Exactly. Good. And then this is for the air con again for the air filter inside and then you pull this out. Let me see the right direction. Uh -huh. Here, there's the new one, old one. You pull this out, looks a little dirty. I think, wait a minute, one and a half years, right? Yeah. Uh, one and a half years, I guess. And you can see the filter. It's not really white anymore, so we exchanged it now. 
we put the new one in. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, here it is. It's in here, that's the aircon, the back side of the aircon. Then I guess it should be simple, I hope. Put that in. Ah, it is easy if you know how to do it. So this is uh, the change of the air filter for the air. <laughs> so now it's called dryer cartridge. So this piece uh, we have extra spare. So shall I unpack it for you? I didn't want to, but maybe for the video purpose I do. Let me see. Um, this air cartridge, we have like a compressor. Any truck at this size has a compressor on board. And to, to, to dry the air out in the, in the, in the tanks, um, there is a special filter underneath. And for this, this requires a special tool, which we didn't have the last five years. But thanks to Tiak, we exchanged it once in five years. And he had that tool, it's basically like a rubber piece, you can open the cartridge. And when I show it, I'm not gonna, or maybe I do. It's a heavy piece. And this is the piece. So, looks nice. And this is an air cartridge. And you put that piece, like that, right here, underneath the truck. And it's hard to, to grasp, and there's this tool that you can have around, and then you just take it off. So you take off the old one, put the new one in, and I think Mercedes recommends every two or one year, I don't know. We have it there and I think in next year or somewhere where I am, I, I will just exchange it. So this is the air cartridge for the Mercedes Autos. So, uh, I mean, I just wanted to, I talked about it, where this cartridge uh, belongs. So now we are underneath the truck, like you can see. And um, right up there, you see my finger, right up there is the cartridge that you have to reach and loosen. On my old truck, it was hanging down. It was a little bit easier, now it's on top. But this thing, like you can see, belongs up there. You untie this one, take it away, you tie this one, and you're good to go again. I'm talking about now it's an easy thing. A mechanic will laugh about it. Probably I will take a half a day to do this. <laughs> but anyways, we can manage ourselves. It's just a screw on. All right. So then we have another nice piece. Ah yeah, this is the fuel filter. So, okay, we have another filter, uh, thanks to Marcus. Uh, we have a SEPA filter, which is a fuel filter, diesel filter, that is extra. I'm gonna show you where it's placed on the truck. Uh, this is an extra piece, and uh, thinking about that, Marcus, you need to hook me up with an extra filter. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, so this is a filter that's after the engine. This is a fuel filter that Mercedes already because people say, oh, you have dirty diesel around the world and whatever. So there's like two pieces. There's this little one. It's like a pre-filter, I guess, for the fuel. This you need to exchange. And there is the big one that you need to exchange. And this fuel filter, with any oil change, uh, you, should, you should change. So Mercedes told me, uh, which is kind of crazy, uh, when do you do an oil change, I asked. And they said, well, uh, when you get the truck first, either you drive 150,000 kilometers, I repeat, 150,000 kilometers, which in our case is forever, or uh, every one or two years. Uh, so we decided to once a year do an oil change. We just had done an oil change, which you saw in this video. Um, and now we are prepared for the next one for the fuel filter. So any oil change you do, you just change the filters for the diesel as well then you have one thing going and I think it's easier then. So this was that one and then um, obviously when I talk about the oil filter here's the oil filter and this is it looks a little bit different this is the oil filter and this piece 
we will also exchange once a year. So like I said, now it's freshly done. So we are ready maybe to ship this year to South America like planned. And then in South America, next year or two years, I'm gonna find a place where I can do this. So, and one more thing, last but not least, of course, this is a Euro 6 and we have AdBlue uh, on board. And this is the, the cartridge, the filter for this. So, you should have that also with you. Um, it looks like this, it's like a little filter for AdBlue. And it comes with like this, uh, yeah, Vaseline type of thing, lubricant, that's what you say. So we have a Euro 6 truck and uh, so obviously it runs with AdBlue uh, but sometimes it could happen that this thing dries out so when would that happen yes if you are in a country uh, where you have uh, not the ultra low sulfur diesel uh, in these countries uh, it's hard i'm not saying it's hard to get at blue i'm saying is uh, it's not recommended to run uh, the engine with this diesel in combination with the AdBlue. Mercedes also developed that you can also shut it down in certain countries. Um, so if you have questions how to do that, sign up to our newsletter here and leave a comment diesel and you get all the information and the right person that does it for us. Um, but anyways, this person will also tell you carry an AdBlue filter just in case along the road. And uh, yeah, so that's what we do. It's not heavy and it's easy. I think if you travel in Europe, by the way, that's another thing. I don't think you need to carry all those <laughs> in Europe. Uh, if, at least not if you have a Mercedes. Like Mercedes in Europe is pretty, pretty well done. Then you, you're not going to need it. They can come to you. Uh, it was pretty tough for us to find uh, the oil, the, the right oils uh, for the oil change on our Tigo. Um, it is recommended maybe, which I don't have yet, but maybe a five liter or 10 liter uh, oil, the right correct oil, that just in case you need to refill on the way. But for the oil change, we don't carry, I think this one has 34 or 37 liters oil. I don't carry that with me. So this is, you need to have your specific numbers or the right contacts, in our case, Mercedes Mietmann and Markus. I asked them what, what I need and then we're gonna order and you are planning those things on the trip. So uh, yeah. So we had some oil changes uh, uh, in, in Nevada last uh, couple of years. Uh, so it is it is not a problem. You don't need a Mercedes uh, garage all the time around you. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it about the, the spare parts, what we take along, I repeat, only for the chassis. Not that you think we are we are we we don't have anything else. I mean, of course we have like for changing the tires, we have the right machine because those big tires need a lot of uh, torque. We have a lot of tools. Um, we also have, and I didn't want to talk about it, but you have like here several water filters. You have other things, uh, fuses, what you need. Of course, we also carry uh, normal car fuses for the truck. Um, I don't know, all those small things that you, you might need on the road, we carry. But maybe this is another video about the box. Um, yeah, I guess that covered most of it. If you have any questions, um, please leave a comment in this video. What, what do you carry around? I mean, I'm interested, I'm also learning. Um, but the experience that I have, you know, or we have collected, whatever, if you need more about, more individual approach, you can go check out www.livinggear4x4.com. Uh, there's more info. You can sign into the newsletter, which you find there. Uh, you can see all the videos. Um, and if you're really, really, really planning on doing your own thing, but you want our, uh, I don't want to say blessing, because <laughs> it's your individual product, but if, uh, if you want uh, our consultancy or individual uh, input, uh, you can book us there. So please check this out too. Um, yeah, so. See you when we see you. Enjoy the rest of this video. If you guys are missing something uh, on our videos, please let us know. I mean, we are we know that we are kind of rare lately on YouTube, um, but unfortunately, not unfortunately, we, we have a nice life, uh, family life, and uh, Matteo is on board with two dogs. Um, we are rearranging our things because there's a lot behind this lifestyle. So anyways, if you have questions specifically about chassis that I didn't comment on or the, the box uh, the, the living habitat or whatever spare parts whatever just leave comments we are reading those 
trust us and we are also considering then according uh, to what you need uh, our new videos so yeah thanks again for watching see you when we see it for me especially the best what they did now the change was the new horn i wanted to hear that because it will be amazing now first time using a new horn wow i love that we are always ashamed of using our old horn but this one is awesome thank you so much mercedes Wittmann. <laughs> Super curious to see what other people are doing. Mercedes Wittmann do a lot of, I think, military trucks. They fix for the Bundeswehr, I think. Wow, look at this big one! Wow! 